You ever want to do something, just everything is in the way? Uh, all right, we're busting out an old friend here. This is the Amiga 1200 NTSC. We're going to fire this sucker up. This has the Scan Plus AGA adapter. It has the, uh, the Amiga kit, uh, 8 meg expansion with, yep, burn the old flannels. 8 meg expansion uh, with the FPU 40 something megahertz. It does have the GoTech. She's rocking an old version of Flash Floppy because I never use this machine. So there we go. We're in crappy mode. The interlaced mode flickers, so I leave it in poo. So we'll go into screen mode. Double NTSC high res, no flicker. That works. That's kind of nice. Let's see what that looks like. Let's just use it. Come on. That's not bad. It's white on white, and that's a gray on gray, and yeah, let's do the overscan. Let's see what we can do with overscan here. Let's get, let's see if we can just make it happy here and just 720 by 467 save it a little better now you're noticing my menu bar kind of hides it if I don't have a photo it's kind of you're still stuck with right here is your maximum you know I'm gonna run sys me because everybody runs oh excuse me everybody runs sys info and you know what the hell that is so we're just gonna run sys info we're gonna go to preference nope oh, I already said it so this has a 68020 at 30 megahertz with apparently a 6882 at 233 megahertz. Yeah, that's not happening in any lifetime on this ooh, on this board that is in this 1200. Uh, CPU wise, it's not going to be anything. It's 4.67 MIPS. Okay, and 0 0.85 MIPS. That sucks. Just for comparison, our favorite tool of Stink Info, I'll use the newer one, okay? Got the newer SysInfo here. Whatever. I don't think this shows it either. But I'm only going to be like a little bit over the uh, stock Amiga 1200 here, 2.229 and chip speed versus uh, A600 is 4X because I have the RAM card, so here's the 1200, I have the RAM and the FPU she's rocking at 15.2, you get a little bit extra uh, megahertz when you have more fast RAM, I also run it at 29.28 horizontal hertz in this double NTSC Mm, high res no flicker mode which is fine by me we just have the Zorro 2 5150 is the Amiga kit version 8 meg RAM board and that's all she wrote I don't use this machine for anything at all this it runs okay I mean look how fast it opens up the hard drive it's all compact flash everything's cool the reason I mainly got this out was I had the Amiga 600 out the other day and I lose track of what I'm doing this has a 512 meg compact flash card, which works on this daggone 1200. It doesn't work on the, the 600. I can put this one in. This is my original Amiga 1200 compact flash card. I'll put this one in, and it fires right up. There it is. There's all my stuff. The cool thing is, let me eject this one. I'll put this 512 one in. And this one also works on the 1200. Why? The same ROM. 314 ROM, same OS, 3141, and this card will not be read on the 1200. So what I'm going to do is this, or I mean the 600, I'm sorry, get all my Amigas mixed up. I'm going to run directory works like I always do. This time I'm going to copy the, whoops, I'm going to copy the devs DOS drivers off the 1200 here the CFO, and I'm going to copy it to the compact flash card. Let's do that. Let's eject this. Let's turn this off. We're going to plug this one in. This is the 600 with the 
make you mad furia. I'm going to put in the 128 compact flash first. Let me turn it to HDMI, my note. We're going to put in the 128 compact flash first and copy the Devs DOS drivers compact flash zero that I use on the 1200. Oops, too loud. Over to this uh, machine. Do it. So this is the Chinesium. You can see she's in full screen. Plug this one in. Get out of here, Virusy. Yep, just get 128 meg. Doesn't show the icon. Same magic workbench, same everything. So we're going to grow in directory works. This is, what is it? Oops. CF0. Hate this keyboard. Whoops. CF0. There you go. Copy CF0. Just to RAM right now. DHO devs. DOS drivers, just copy this one right back over. 327, 15, 41, 24, 31. Something's different. I'm just gonna just gonna do that and reboot. Unplug this guy. And now we're gonna try this 512 mega. Now some people have told me they have up to four gigs working on a CF card here. Not me. I have problems just getting this one to work. And I have FAT95 and all the normal stuff. This actually has a floppy drive. All right, so here we go. We're going to plug in. Yep, get out of here, virus -y. Don't care. Plugging it in. Nothing. It does not like this card at all. Plug it in. Nope. Watch this. Now the 128 probably won't work, and I just screwed myself. 128 doesn't even work anymore. I think it's the Furia. You bastard! You bastard! Alright, and this disc basically was sold to me like this. Amiga 600, 1200 PCM CIA drivers came in a bag. You saw me use it 150 times. Right click, use DW. We'll go to DF0. We'll go to DH0. Devs. DOS drivers. I'm gonna you know what real quick RAM. I'm gonna move this CF0 into RAM because I'm gonna move it somewhere else real quick afterwards. <coughs> so devs, DOS drivers, CF0. I wonder if I need the compact flash dot device from the other Amiga. Probably. Copy. Copy CF0 and then I'm back in action on that one. So I'm gonna go back to RAM here. DHO. I'm gonna go to storage. DOS drivers, and I'm going to rename this and this uh, underscore from 12. Whoa, my god, this keyboard sucks. 1200, and then underscore from 1200.info. So I can just have these and move that back to storage. Now, for S and G's, I'm going to eject this floppy drive. We know this is going to work. I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to hook the Amiga 1200 back up. I'm just going to leave it on the HDMI the same way we had the other one. I'm going to copy the compact flash dot device from this 1200. I don't know why this one works and the 1200 doesn't. It's got to be that. So once again, this isn't weird. I didn't save. I only did a use. This mouse is just horrid. I'm going to copy this over. Rename. Underscore from 1200. Okay, I know what it is, just for future reference, when I forget. Now, we'll see what we get on the Furia. And I'll make a copy of my original when I blow it up. I'll stick it in storage. So run directory works. And we'll go to CF0. Oh my... Did I tell you that this keyboard just sucks? Take this, take this, take this. DH0. Storage. Thanks. Copy. Great. Okay. Now I'm going to take my own uh, DOS drivers. CFO. Copy. Just so I have them. Okay. Now, as usual, I'm going to take this one and nuke it. And 
going to take this one and copy it. And I'm going to rename it. I need this compact flash device. Copy. It's a different... Ah, that's what it's got to be. This one's 6496. I have to look at it. Rename. Uh, 600. Okay. And I'll take this one. And this one gets... Whoop. Carefully. This one gets deleted. This one gets copied and renamed. That's got to be it. Eject this card and reboot. It's got to be it. It's the only three things it needs. I already had FAT95 on here from the initial install of this guy, which allows you to read these FAT32 drives. But it would never see this one. I think it was the Compact Flash Dot device that came on this disc. Maybe I'll just update that disc. Because it screws me up every time. I think I downloaded the newer one off Aminet. Don't really remember. Let's see if that works. Whoa. Come on, Viracy. Just pop up and do your thing. Get out of the... Can you... Hello. Come on. That's the only downfall of the Chinese box. Is this thing just doesn't know when to say, Get out of here. There's no button you can hit or do. Okay, here we go. 512. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Hello, sir. And don't tell me it's the you gotta boot it in Fury of 4 MIG mode. No. 314 fixes the issue with the RAM. Now, this one probably won't even work again. Watch. Alright. Something is weird with this freaking thing. Now, for those of you who have a Furia that need to boot into a 4 megabyte mode, what you can do, and I'll turn this off, I'll turn it on, you can control left Amiga, right Amiga, and hold it for 3 seconds, and then let go. This will boot you in a 4 meg mode, because the old Workbench 3.0 ROMs, or 3.1 ROMs, would have an issue where any memory more than 4 megabytes with a compact flash card caused all sorts of weirdness. Kind of like how I'm having. 314 ROMs corrected that issue. So you can have 8 megs and run a compact flash card. 3.0 ROMs had the issue but didn't report it. And you just had problems. And still nothing. Copy it right over. Take this one. Delete. And rename this. And let's see if I see it now. Devs, DOS drivers, there it is. What the heck? Double click on CF0. CF0 is already mounted. My Bahuki, and I'm at 4 megs of RAM, so. Nope. Let's reboot one more time. So there's the 1200 card, but we are rocking the, the device file from the 1200. Let's see what happens. Let's just. Don't think it's going to work, but who knows? Nope, CF0 uninitialized. I need to figure out what the heck's going on. I have to figure out some way to get this info file over here. Even if I have to do it the old-fashioned way on these things. But see, I'll have to find... I'll have to use the 1010 or something off the 3000 because I don't have an external floppy drive that I haven't hijacked into a GoTech. That's where I'm stuck at. But I'll figure it out. And thanks for watching my nightmares. So I hope this helps you. So when you have some weird crap going on, you can kind of figure out, hey, what did I do? Where, this did work. What happened? And all it is is a device driver and a mount list pretty much. This one works fine. Pops right up. Doesn't show my icon though. So that's all I got for now. Thanks for always supporting me in the mess with uh, all of my Amigas and projects. Uh, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. It helps keep me going. And thank you all for watching. And I hope you learned something.